In Unit 2, you will be covering the period from the turn of the 20th century up through World War I. During this period, as America reaches the turn of the century, America goes through a short phase of imperialism. We had already conquered the West and spread our country from sea to shining sea and now many Americans were starting to look for ways to expand America around the globe. We're going to see a war with Spain uh, give us some new territories in the Pacific, in the Caribbean. Our influence is going to grow in Asia. It's going to grow in Central and South America. And we're going to see America's policies as we start to deal with this uh, growing global economy which America is becoming a part of and the way we deal with our neighbors in Central and South America. And this, some of this will lead to conflict later on for America. We're also going to be looking at the Progressive Era. As America pushes on through the Gilded Age, the corruption in society, in business, in politics, these things cause many Americans, religious Americans, reformers of many types, uh, middle class Americans, especially in New England, these people all come together in what's called the progressive movement. And they start to look to change things in America. Some of them want to change living conditions for people in the cities or working conditions in the factories. They want to bring moral reforms like uh, the temperance movement to end the sale of alcohol. Uh, there's those who want to clean up the corrupt, corruption in politics. Women start fighting not only for these other issues but for their own right to vote. And even a civil rights movement begins as African Americans start to make their first early attempts to push for better treatment. All of these together lead to this period called progressivism. Now, while that's going on, you're going to have to have somebody in the government that's going to really be the champion of progressivism that will push forward these reforms. And that man, a man who became famous for his actions during the Spanish-American War, was Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt, a Republican, but not necessarily the Republican that the stalwarts had wanted to become president, he succeeds McKinley after McKinley's assassination, and he begins to use the old Sherman Antitrust Act for what it was intended to do, actually breaking up trusts and regulating big business, something that hadn't been done to this point. He becomes the people's champion of progressive reform. He also becomes a leader in America's new policy in dealing with nations around the world and with our Central and South American neighbors. You'll need to look for something called the Roosevelt Corollary to the Monroe Doctrine in his dealing with these nations. His big stick policy is going to make America a true power on the global stage. Now after he serves his term of office, he passes on uh, the reins of power to his hand-selected successor, Taft. Unfortunately for Taft, he becomes unacceptable to the progressives because he is too acceptable to the old Republican stalwarts. He actually does push through a good bit of business reform, but he has a falling out with Roosevelt. And as you're going to see as you look at his administration, he's not going to serve a second term. Instead, Roosevelt's going to form the Progressive Party, the Bull Moose Party, to challenge him. And these split Republican votes will end up resulting in a Democrat, the first one in a number of years, first of the 20th century coming into power. Woodrow Wilson will continue some progressive reforms, but as his administration continues on, there's going to be growing concerns about relations south of our border, especially in Mexico, and with other nations around the world as World War I is beginning and America eventually plunges into that war. And you'll be looking at Wilson's plan for trying to make the world safe for democracy. As we enter that war, he comes up with 14 points that you'll want to be sure you understand. His plan to make the world 
safe to create a lasting peace and to truly try to make this the war to end all wars. And you'll also see how his plan ends up failing to be carried out. These are the main things you'll want to look for in this second unit. 